This is how ties recharge the magic of their special tattoos. Some enter deep into a trance-like state, and others are thought to become possessed at an annual Y Crew festival. This Y Crew festival, held at Nakhon Patom's Wat Bang Prat Temple, 50 kilometers north of Bangkok, is the biggest and every march, it attracts enormous crowds. People come to pay tribute to the highly revered tattoo masters who create the Sakyan tattoos and to recharge the power of their tattoos they wear. In doing so, they chant, they meditate, they give alms, and some, it's believed, become possessed by spirits. This is no ordinary Zen retreat. Monks, meanwhile, make their way through the crowd to spray holy water and bless everyone with good fortune. So what exactly is a Sakyan and where does it originate from? Sakyan, in its literal meaning, refers to tapping a mystical diagram or yantra. And it can be traced back through Hinduism and Buddhism. It is said to be a combination of black magic, spirit worship, and superstition. Dating as far back as 2000 years to ancient Thailand and Cambodia, Sakyan tattoos are meant to protect warriors during battle. These magical tattoos are believed to grant the wearer increased health, protection, power, wealth, and luck, but only to those who are true believers. A tattoo's power is said to stay with the wearer, provided he or she abides by these five Buddhist rules. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not engage in sexual misconduct. Do not lie. And do not get intoxicated. Should the rules be broken, it is said a tattoo's power will cause more harm than good. Of the various temples in Thailand that embrace the Y Crew tattoo tradition, Wat Bang Prat Temple rose to fame during the 20th century. Due to the now late abbot Luang Pa Pen's mastery in creating Sakyan tattoos, Legend says the abbot was unharmed in an encounter with a tiger that visited the temple through his meditating. Luang Pao Pen was then able to channel his feeling into the magical tattoos he created, and the Sakyan legend grew. Today, Sakyan tattoos are typically done by tattoo master monks and trained laymen called ajats, using long stainless steel needles dipped in black ink. The Sakyan master has the final say in determining a person's tattoo and where on their body it is to be placed, based on a discussion with that person into their desires, fears, or characteristics. Or there's the option of staying quiet and letting the master decide by himself. The entire process of obtaining a single Sakyan tattoo usually takes around 10 to 30 minutes. The finished tattoo is not considered sacred or bestowed with any power, however, until the tattoo master chants the appropriate magic spells and blows on the design. This is when the power of the Sakyan tattoo is considered activated. Sakyan tattoo designs vary in shape, form, and size, but the most commonly seen yantra designs in Thailand are the Gao Yod, or the Nine Spires. This is often the rite of passage tattoo given to a follower of a Sakyan master to enter their lineage. It's also known as Yan Kru, which means Master Yantra. It represents nine different Buddhas and serves as protection from danger. The Hatel is a set of five perpendicular Sanskrit blessings and grants health and success to those who believe. Batit is a circle of eight pyramids that provides all-round protection from danger and is often used by police and soldiers. 
There's also the Suda, or the Tiger Tattoos, which provide strength and authority. Hanuman, the Monkey Warrior, providing courage and wealth. Tattoos such as the Rusi, or Hermit, that are inked to provide wisdom and fortune. It is important to mention that in a predominantly Buddhist Thailand, these designs are not only seen in tattoos. Look a bit closer and you'll see them all around, in fabric patterns, hanging from car rear view mirrors, in the home, and even as stickers. It's common for Thai Buddhist monks to write yantras on walls, doors, vehicles, and even weapons, on anything one wants to have blessed. Many people wear Buddhist amulets for the same reason. This is deeply ingrained in Thai culture, but does it represent the true essence at the core of Buddhist values? Buddhism is a philosophy of life. Its teachings are aimed at freeing human beings from suffering through the principle of reciprocity, on the notion that all living entities are created equal. Wearing a Buddhist amulet or receiving a tattoo, does this help free one from suffering, or are they a detraction from Buddhist values? That is something best contemplated by oneself.